How do you know when you should sell your unwanted things and when to simply donate them? In today's video, I'm sharing with you my three criteria for deciding when you should sell your clutter versus just giving it away during your home organizing and downsizing efforts. Hi, I'm professional organizer Katherine Lawrence, and I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. Working as a professional organizer and someone who facilitates whole home downsizing, I handle a lot of things that my clients no longer want or need. Bags of clutter, car loads of stuff, and sometimes even truckloads of belongings, still in good condition. So my clients often ask me what can be done with all of these things and I guide them through the process of making decisions about what to sell and what to give away. So today I'm sharing with you my three criteria for determining what to just give away versus taking the time to find a buyer. Okay, let's jump in. My first criteria is what is the item worth? Sometimes this is an easy determination and sometimes it isn't. Diamond rings are valuable, a pair of socks, not valuable. So you'll want to first find out if there is even a market for something. If you don't know already, do a quick search on eBay or Google to see if there are buyers and sellers for this type of thing. As a professional organizer, you should be aware of the buyers in your community of clothing, home decor, jewelry, as well as appraisers for art and more unique collectibles. If an item is actively being bought and sold for high dollar amounts, it could very well be worth your time to find a buyer. Which leads to my second criteria, how much time do you have to dedicate to finding a buyer? If you have ever sold anything online, you know how time consuming it can be listing items and waiting for someone to make an offer and then arranging for a pickup or packing something up to ship to someone. If you are taking items to a local consignment shop, you have to drive there, you have to wait for someone to go through the things and make you an offer on how much they will pay or list the item for. And anyone who has sold consignment will tell you they rarely take everything that you bring in. So you may still be left with the cast off items after taking them to the potential buyer. So to decide for yourself what your time is worth. If you run all over town only to earn $20, it may just not be worth your time to locate a buyer for those things. The downsizing and decluttering process can be stressful and time consuming, and looking for buyers will add to that time and stress, whereas a quick drop off at a local charity shop is typically quick and easy. My third criteria is volume. How many things are you eliminating? If you are an empty nester or a senior looking to downsize or have inherited a house full of belongings, it may be worth the time and effort to sell everything in one weekend, like at an estate sale. An estate sale is like an indoor yard sale that lasts multiple days. If you are working with an estate agent or an auction house, they may sell some of the things online or transport them to a live auction. So if you have a very large volume of things you want to eliminate, find a reputable local agent to review the entire lot to determine if there is value in selling everything at an estate sale. So there you have my three criteria on whether to donate or sell your items, the value of the item, the time you have to invest, and the volume that you are eliminating. And keep in mind the good feeling you get by giving things away, supporting local charities and your community. And that donating is a faster and less stressful way to eliminate the things that you no longer need or love. So what are you struggling with in your downsizing efforts? Do you have something you want to let go of, but the idea of selling it is holding you back? Let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips on downsizing, minimizing, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.